Look out below, a Washington State Patrol trooper saw that in the middle of his morning commute today. A fire weather watch is in effect for Eastern Washington and North Idaho for tonight, and I'll keep track to see if that could get upgraded to a red flag warning by this evening. As him being my son, it's my responsibility, and I needed to get him there. Well, now she doesn't have to stress about how she'll do it. A local company helping a four-year-old boy get across the country for life-saving surgery. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jane McCarthy. Welcome, everyone. I'm Mark Hanrahan. We start tonight with the high fire danger across the inland northwest. Meteorologist Thomas Patrick in the Weather Center right now tracking potential thunderstorms. Thomas? Yeah, and this thunderstorm potential is what's prompted that fire weather watch for this evening, somewhat like what it was last Tuesday night. That lightning storm, which did actually cause a few wildfires in the area. A similar scenario, but probably not as intense this time around, but still got the caution out there with the fire weather watch for most of eastern Washington and north Idaho. That kicks in at 11 o'clock tonight. The actual weather system is still off the coast, just getting into Vancouver Island and just the far northwestern tip of Washington right now. So we'll watch for anything to pop up well ahead of that storm system. But I'll tell you what, the ground is still pretty dry. We're still reporting 61% of the state as moderate drought conditions, which means there's plenty of fine dry fuels for those lightning strikes to ignite should we see that potential uh, just a potential arise later on in the evening. But we do have uh, some more heat for us as some temperatures getting into the 90s today and even hotter outlook ahead for the early stages of August. So we'll look at what you can expect for the entirety of the month and a detailed timeline of when those thunderstorm potential is at its greatest this evening. Thank you, Thomas. Meantime, crews are working to put out a 130-acre wildfire in Okanagan County. The Rendezvous Fire is burning five miles north of Winthrop. Firefighters say it's now 90% contained. Level 1 evacuations are still in place for people who live near Rendezvous Road. Level 1 just means be on alert and aware of your surroundings. We can no longer allow a white nationalist to be in the White House, number one. That was one of Jay Inslee's most memorable moments from last night's Democratic presidential debate. He got about 11 minutes of speaking time and used most of that time to talk about climate change. Some political strategists say his presidential run may be over. To qualify for the next debate in September, candidates need to have at least $130,000 and register at at least 2% support in four different polls. His campaign says they had more than 10,000 new donors since the debate, but he is still pulling under 1%. He has until August 28th to make the cutoff. Right now, seven candidates have already qualified for the next Democratic debate. Well, the FBI says Amazon drivers are behind a $10 million theft ring in Washington state. According to search warrants, two Amazon drivers who were supposed to pick up and return items would routinely steal them and sell them to pawn shops they were working with. Then the pawn shops would sell those items back on Amazon. Since 2013, the FBI says they made at least $10 million doing this. Well, after a six-month hiatus, the new owners of Cooper Country Drive-In are firing up the grill again. The previous owners say financial troubles forced them to sell. Krem 2's Tim Pham sat down with the new owners ahead of the grand opening. Well, it's no secret, you guys, I'm a WSU alum, and I love me some Cougar Country, and I can't wait to order off this menu and get me a Cougar Special very soon. If you're craving a mouth-watering burger and shake, you're in luck. Mike Wagner and his family knew they couldn't let the lights go out forever and decided to save the Pullman favorite. Who doesn't love Cougar Country? Everybody loves Cougar Country. Every, it's part of the Pullman experience. When you come to WSU, you think Cougar Country. You may recognize Wagner. He's been a successful business owner in the Palouse for more than four decades. He says his recipe for success is treating his staff and customers like family. It's what he'll carry over to the new restaurant. I am so happy every time one of them walks through my door. Is this like, oh, I'm so happy you're here. And, and I feel the same way here at Cougar Country. As a little girl, his daughter remembers waiting in the drive through line at Cougar Country. She's proud of her parents because she knows they'll carry on the legacy customers expect. They've always been entrepreneurs, always been super hardworking. The teamwork that they show together is so impressive and oh, it's always been like that. 
You may notice small changes over time, but the menu will be just as many of you have come to love. Yeah, it's worked all these years. People love the menu. They come, they know what they want. They don't even, a lot of them don't have to look at the board. They already know what they're going to order. And the response from the community has been overwhelming. I even put a sign up this morning. I just said, we love you, Pullman, you know, because just to let them know how much we love the response from them uh, and the support that we're getting. Yeah. So obviously they have a lot of work to do, but they tell me they hope to open by the first football game. Reporting in Pullman, I'm Tim Pham, Creme 2 News. Well, it's not your typical morning commute. A small plane made an emergency landing on a highway in Pierce County. This happened around 815 this morning. And so the trooper who caught the landing on his dash cam says, just like everyone else, he had no idea the pilot was having issues before they landed. At first, he actually thought it was a remote controlled plane, mm. but as it kept getting closer, it kept getting bigger, of course. So Washington State Patrol says the plane had a fuel system malfunction. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The trooper then actually helped push the plane off the highway, which he says was a first in his 21 years of law enforcement. And my goodness, crazy stuff, right? Mm. Glad everyone's okay.